be as fierce as possible. We are all welcome to this very important uh, meeting. I call this meeting to be very important because you people are dealing with uh, special stakeholders of this university, that is the students. And we all know that all of us that we are working in this university, we are appointed to work in this university because of the students. If you don't have students on ground, or there's nobody in this university to learn anything, then you will not see all of us. That shows that this university exists because we have students. So, uh, we all know what happened. For about eight months, the university was closed and now we are preparing to uh, call the students so that academic activity will commence. And we cannot just call students back without preparing the environment, without also preparing ourselves to render services in our various schools students. And also, it becomes very important that we should call our attention to some strategic issues that we know will enhance our performance wherever the students are found. Because with the way the investments were closed because of the strike and for the long duration of the strike, uh, a lot of things was have gone back. Apart from the system itself, where a lot of facilities need to be here, uh, we have to put many things in place before the student comes. We should also put at the back of, of our mind that these students, they are also coming back. Many of them will be back as Because if you allow uh, youth at that level to stay for eight months. Uh, only God knows what many of them must have learned by now. And we will all bring such kind of attitude to the system. And we that we are here, if you feel that yes, the normal student you know is the one that is coming out like serious. So you have to be alerted, you have to be serious with your work. You have to be strategic, you have to be wonderful, and try to make sure that you, you as a person, put yourself as also prepared, and try to see how you can, you know, guide the students. For those of them that are coming with some bad attitude, we need to work on them. And if you refuse to work on them, uh, those bad attitudes can also affect us because their reactions to us now will be uh, different from the way we used to see. So we need to first of all call our attention to different areas. And I know that you people are the one here in your needs related to the students by the time they call. Maybe there are issues previously which we want the management to pay attention to that are not been attended. We want this thing you should be able to tell us so that some of those things will be worked on at least to facilitate how we handle our students and uh, also to, for us to enjoy delivering our services. And uh, the that we are not going to have problems with students because they are special stakeholders of the rest. And we must work together to make the environment conducive for them. That is to say, we, we must pay attention to their welfare. But while we are paying attention to their welfare, we must also be ready to 
do our best in trying to control or have control over the discipline also. So, apart from giving attention to the welfare, giving attention to the discipline, because uh, we have rules and rules in place. And sometimes, you people that need to be respected directly, sometimes you may want to cover them whenever certain things are not bad. So, we want a situation where you will caution that these students must be guided to obey rules and regulations of the system. We should also try to assist the management in pointing out some of the issues that will also affect the welfare of uh, the students. We have many things we are trying to handle now. And uh, particularly some of you that are working in the hostel, let me start with that place. You know, if you look at the spare hostel, you find that you have shops, what's covering the surrounding. Shops created just uh, by the fence, perimeter fence of the hostel. And that arrangement is not good for the university. That arrangement is not good for the university. We are not saying that people should not have business outfits to invest. But if there should be business outfits to invest, it has to be done in an orderly manner. It has to be done in a situation that anybody that comes to know that there is an organized institution. Now we see some of the shops where they are. A lot of things can be done or can be practiced to the students without any kind of For example, somebody is having a shop just like the fence. That person will engage in selling drugs to the students. He doesn't take anything just to create an opening from the shop to the fence. And it's a matter of just collecting money and then throwing the drugs from them. This can be done easy. So the first thing is I have a task force in place that any shops are now on the fence then to be removed. We are even saying that whatever shops that we have around the hostel, around academic units, all should be removed. And some people even went to the extent of when you are able to build anything in an organized environment, you have to do it based on the student side. And that's why when land or any portion of the investment is to be allocated to anybody to operate any business office, the physical, the director of school plan, the concourse, and the director of the cities, and the people who are here must synergize together before anything should done. And where you are giving any location to build anything, you cannot just build public structure. The private structure can be allowed for anything that is not in the issue of But some people will say no, they will give it. And in any, way, in any case, most of the uh, allocation give it. Is it in Amali? Is it in Amali? The partition for you to use that place is Amali. So, Amali, so. But why should you put that role and be put in partition for So, we are going to correct that. And I know there are. I'm just assuming, if you are not part of those that have shop, you must have a friend that have shop. But please, this is just to, we are not saying we are not going to be giving anyone of that place. Anybody that is already having business after you should not be considered first in giving another place to locate this shop. Before we consider any other new person, those people will consider first. But we cannot allow 
shops to be going around social justice anyhow without any other money. So, are you people that are working directly in the school? This is very important. Because if we are not mentioning this to you now, and the development starts to take action, some of you supposed to, who are supposed to support the decision of the management, may be used to work against it. And want to avoid the situation where some of our staff can be sanctioned because of this kind of uh, issue. So please let us take note of that. And we are correcting this not because we have any to face anybody. It's a system. The university has a school master plan. And the school master plan, which was not designed that. When you have constant after defense, the next thing is to construct so of this one here. There was a time when NUC sent team, you know, to come and look at how we manage our hosting. And the guy was, was pointing out that people have things surround the hosting. And it's not meeting up. So that is outside coming to join us on how we are managing our lives. But you know, people, when they come for anything like this, they think this time. Because you, you have a shop there, and uh, when they say move your shop out of that place, you feel offended. Yes, it's, it's always difficult to adjust to anything. But when the change is for the positive in the system, let us abide by this. We have already asked the consult fiscal master, the uh, fiscal uh, director of fiscal plan, and the monitor says to get the location. We are we can have the best community managers. And that location can be fine. And anybody that wants to have a shop, they can give him a location there so that they need to shop there. And later on, because we even the place given, we, we design in such a way that we have to have phase one and phase two. We may decide to give the phase one so that people can have a temporary shop there. Yeah? In phase two, we are going to have people that will come with a specific design that is going to be given to them to build hostel or to build a shop that are going to be modern, which people can rent. And later on, we can ask those people that have a temporary shop to say, so if you are ready, you can go and rent that, then we will build this one to you. But whoever feels with the prototype that will go to the beginning, you feel you can do the same thing like that with the amount of things with certain conditions like that. So, go to any university. This is how we do work. You go to our primary university area, you see community markets in about three locations. And we are the support to have any business outfits either close to academic units or close to hostel, they have a specification. They have a specification in terms of the number of the shop that you can get. They have a specification on what you should send it. So that all of that stuff are concentrated as well. So at this the same thing, we want to start practicing that. And we are seeking for cooperation of all the staff. But we are all and not more concerned with those that are working directly with students. Because we have uh, more influence on the students. Some of them, if they don't want us to work 
you have your children, your other children, or other adults. So if you are having another student here, another student here with here, that concern that you need to do, you need to do where you are not playing. So that's why we just have to play a parental role for our students also uh, in this place. I observe when all of you uh, produce yourself, uh, I see that everybody is a uh, hostile business. And I just notice only one or two people that say that uh, they cancel you for school. So, which means uh, we don't have a very serious or post guidance and cancel in this university. But is it a separate, is it separate from the, the, the student affairs division? Then, but how many people are working on that? Well, for this event, it's a special phenomenon. So, for this event, it's a special phenomenon. We are for, and there are no any other person. You know that? We fall. Okay, this is not in this. We are going to do that in the world. It's not in the world. It's my spirit and not in the world. Okay. Okay. Yes, because what I'm saying is that uh, students are fair in this room, supposed to have the status of directors. And if they are directed, at least if they are fair in this room, we should be having not less than three or four minutes. So, but I can hear here, most of it, most of it. Yes. So I have to that it seems many units in this university 
are just working, no any strategic information for whoever is giving that position to hold. So everybody that comes and says, hey, you will not be using his own initiative to leave the back. Or if somebody comes and says, hey, there is no government giving to him to look at his own initiative, mission, vision, objective of the system, and this is the major operation of the and so many things I have to be the one to correct some being say to me and say, do this, do that. But now what we are doing, I don't know how long they say, uh, they used to do it, now they are not so so not to be like that. Our working company should be an enjoy one. That if they are not able to get from their phone, we continue to use that. Even though we are not against any innovation. But there should be something on that that can guide anybody that comes to us. So that's the reason why I'm saying that I was had only one person about guiding uh, and passing. And you know, in the school of regulation, this is also another very important thing. Guiding and passing. The faculty can relate to your division by giving you this of that are not performing at all in the faculty. And I know we are not that we are not doing all these kind of things. If you see some people that are performing poorly, sometimes it will not be because they are not doing well, but maybe the interaction with others and uh, some other activities that they uh, that are supervising them, they think that this next of those students that have performing poorly and send it to this affair. Please let your council that and council really help to correct this student. And by the time you do that, you do it. So at the end, if you mean if you people are doing that, the reports also will come to send it to show that this is how far you are going and you have to also be done it. Those that are doing that are you following their performance? To now know that yes, these are the people that we we are nice with that we have a cancer on them, and this is where they were before, the and this is what they are they are getting done. So that we know that our performance is not running down. So that we even a special a special place to come and have talk to them if you don't have. Because they have to know the area of the students. What is the factor affecting them? What is that thing that is making them not to perform? And we can categorize the students. We look for help from outside. So these are some of the things that we need to be doing. It's not that we should not, our country will not be going where students come to register them, we are looking for them, and then we take care of our uh, time that they are finishing, that we are, we are not talking about mobilizing them. If we are here to teach the students to learn, we are also here to hold their hands. Why students are learning and you observe high schools around them? Even at the faculty level, we need to see that they do some faculties where they have some with this place and also with the social ramparts. A particular issue can be important to your unit and you select the students that are doing that kind of thing, you will work on them. So I think the reason why I'm saying, apart from our, apart from our individual concern for these students, we must have a formal arrangement also to work on the matter. Individually, as a lecturer, as a staff of the university, you can show love to the student and correct that student and advise the student. But the university has to also play its own role. By having a formal mechanism in place, and you can be guided and passing ways. And the vice chancellor should also be falling into the collection of how that unit is performing its work. Possibly it could be beyond that, maybe on semester by semester. These are the issues to observe and subsume in their department, their powers. What and what the unit have done on them. And after a certain period of time, we report back on the same people to see how 
what kind of advantage have we got from our input to correct it? But if we are not getting it, we don't feel that it's not going to be a and go. Uh, it's not going to be. And honestly, some of us may be underrating this aspect of cancellation. Any student that will cancel while he undergoing his program, and you were able to touch on something that maybe for long they have been thinking of how to avoid it. And meeting you on your own, you were successful to avoid that thing. And the student now needs the institution to successfully and become something anytime. You will not forget you. You continue to remember how you call this attention back to the right position. So we have a lot of things uh, to do uh, in the student affairs. We should not just look at that aspect of uh, our relation with the students should be more of the student parents. Then, the student affairs need to also be conscious of the parents. We need to be conscious of the parents. And that is why there should be synergy between the, our parental safety director and law division. And apart from that, even with some of the security agencies we have around. Because sometimes there is anything that happens to students immediately. The person who are going to first of all the good student are So or when that thing happens, when anything happens for the industry affairs to come and get the right answer, this is what happened. He himself has to be sensitive. But when you come and say this, I say, okay, what, what, what is the measure that they take first? So, and that is why the issue of intelligence, you know, is something very important that we need to look into. And for all of us, to perform our duty efficiently. I don't know whether we have ever submitted any uh, request to me on the issue of uh, staff training in your division. You did. Have we, have we carried out the training before this time? Okay. So that is very important because some of this is mentioned here. Some of this is mentioned here. It's not my own saying here that what I said was supposed to, supposed to do this, supposed to do that. How are you going to do this? In what way? All these things, some people want to be brought to come and lecture you, to come and train you on this. And the training again is not just something that we want to do. So we have to be arranging for training to train your staff, and that training should be. Take, you know, procedure. So that at least it also has to be a continuous summary. Student attitude is also dynamic. They may come with values today if you say you are trained, you are an athlete, another thing is your face. So that's why we have to be training to more off. And if it's if there's any project in this university that is supposed to be more trained. At one time, it should be those working in the affair and those working in the security. Because our student business, they are very sharp when we come to real practice. It is only the big good things that you feel somebody is slow. When it's practice, when there was one thing, somebody sent uh, uh, something to us, I was telling you, they said, there's a boy that. If you can just get your hands set and you was able to go through and see where you are at, you can transfer your body from your own account to your So we have to go that one level. So this is easy. And if you talk to the class and you are teaching how to do that, to do good things, it will take a whole step that you But what is something that you can easily use? 
Nous avons eu le droit de vivre à un spot à l'identité. Nous avons une spécification sur comment nous devons payer pour nous. So that when you are in the world, there are different ways of doing. For anybody that wants to do that, we have procedure. The person has to be informed, and it's by the time we give them the form, they are feeling. They will see that we are trying. Okay, for you to do this, this is a cost. For you to do this, this is a cost. But I will not see the data coming, and uh, when the data comes, sometimes I can't say no. What are you guys saying to say, head of sport, please comment. And the head of sport will say that I should miss. You will not say no, uh, sir, let them be for. Or you have never called attention, my attention to say, you should design the form. Whenever anybody comes, and I say head of um, sport to say, okay, they need to feel for. And the form, which is when they are feeling for, they will know that I will catch. So I will not be. Before the event happens, but if somebody come and I will say no, I don't, uh, I don't know why you are coming to me. They are rich, and you have a black man, black man, this. And when the black man are saying no, they say that this one, and the head of course say it is a better than this. If that man comes and says it is not good, please comment. And if he comes and says that this, I can be free. But when the poor lady comes to me and says it is not good. So we have to also uh, try to manage our facility. We put all those things in place for students, not for outside. But I've seen the students who are outside that are living that is more than one. More than one. You see some of these security agents, agents in total, they want to do their interview and so on. They will also write to we support the start time, so I will make a proposal where we need to formalize this thing. Anybody that wants our facility, they need to feel from. And for feeling from, we know that it's getting in the future. And so this will help us. I want to see where we are. This and that. Maybe by the time you are submitting your roadmap also, this kind of thing should be located so that we can take care of our that question. Then, we have just considered uh, our revised calendar, the issue of A, and taken care of. So, maybe by the time register and release the revised calendar, you will see where the issue of A fits up. Sometimes, I feel worried the way solution comes from that for some game activity in the university. It may be so close to that period when this that's where the solution will be made. And some of the solutions may be so expensive and the university will find it very tight to prepare for some of this. So now that the calendar will be released I know the head of transport will also have a copy. You look at where the same day is going to be featured. And we also, also plan the activities and not with that kind of Not that when we will have the activities next week and then we will be coming to office of the budget this week. I want to see so that those committees that need to work on your request before that can work on it and advise the right transport appropriately. So our decision will be taken ahead. And by the time you, you want to now start, by the time one must have been leave or whatever you want. But when something comes suddenly, and before any comment is made to guide the budget to the side, time is over. And when we release money, sometimes the money will not even be used for what is meant properly. So I want to see this where uh, we have a spot to also be working along with the calendar of the university so that we will also plan the student activities uh, on that. The sensitization on how staff to engage in sport activities also. I know uh, the committee has been that. I want to also call your attention to this. Let our staff also be participating.
participating effectively in the uh, sports. It's very, very important for, uh, for their heads because I know a, a lot of people these days uh, don't bother about that heads. Heads matters a lot, and sports is one of the things that can be used to correct some of our physiological problems in most cases. So, um, the way they do it, maybe it has to be the same way I advise the director of heads. You know, yesterday I know when we are part of the uh, event of yesterday, where we said director of heads need to talk about stress management. So, in all cases, we also need to also synergize with every unit of the university so that we help people to at least be active. So if somebody, some people they come to office all, all the time, you see that sitting in the office, and uh, something is wrong, maybe they are not uh, really relaxed. So you know, part of it is not going for exercise. The blood is always in one mistake. You know, somebody may even be writing and uh, before you put my blood around, you sleep. Not that I didn't sleep yesterday. Uh, you slept well, but the office again is. So, all these things is uh, it's another thing you need to help the director of uh, health service to reduce that kind of change in our staff. So, if possible, if there is any kind of uh, uh, arrangement that you want to put in place for the registrar to help us from the site, you can bring it to my attention. I'm willing to register to the circulate so that uh, that will be more opportunity and uh, everybody will follow. So uh, I think to me, this has got a solution. We people are the one in the you know the challenges you are facing. I need to now listen to you. Uh, where you have your own challenge with the way you are tied up to assignment to let me know. Because there are, there are some staff that you say, What are your challenges? You say, They don't have any That means you are not working. You say, You don't have challenges, you are not working. I've called one meeting like that. And so what we expect now is that you people will make valuable contributions that will help make your decisions. It's an interactive session. Feel free to speak. On emotional intelligence, on 
effective study habits. A lot, a lot of topics. And I don't know if you have been we'll be reporting that to your office. We write semester reports. Every semester we have a comprehensive report to tell you these are the things we have done. And we'll be doing the following semester for your approval. And I think we have one already on the ground that will be submitted uh, very soon for your approval to commence Wednesday program, 8 to 9 a.m. every Wednesday to meet with the students. And that has helped us a lot. The gap between we and students is not much as a result of that meeting. We meet with them at various levels, maybe this week, 100 level, the following week, 200 level, three, four, like that. But the major challenge we have I'm sorry to say, and I have to say it here, is that we have frustration from our faculties and departments. The students will be coming. You can imagine a student telling you that the lecturer will tell you it's not part of 75% attendance. You will see a student telling you that our lecturer said it is not compulsory. You will see a student telling you that the lecturer has fixed a meeting for that same time and ours is not important. And I met with one of the lecturers, I said, we are the ones, by the grace of God, making the academic environment conducive for you to meet with the students. If we don't meet with them, then uh, we are not saying that the environment will not be conducive, but it helps us a lot to tame the students. So part of the frustration we are having is from faculties and uh, departments. Uh, with regards to Intelligence gathering. Uh, we're sorry, uh, you made mention of something that you're not the same that the Senate, but we have some group of students that we pay personally, even with the help of the team. We service them from our personal body and they give us intelligence gathering. And we are relating that with the security. As much as we have been working with the security unit, we also work with the SRC. Thank God for the position of the CSO. But we ourselves as a division, we have students. Some of them we even divide, we divide among ourselves. Okay, you take care of the take care of the entire group, Mr. Suhaja, Mr. Supers, Mr. Supers. And sometimes when we're out of cash, we meet the day and it gives us from his pocket. And we serve some of the students and they give us intelligence. And we know you can't just get it normal. But these are the things we have done. Uh, for staff training, I want to say thank you very much. For bringing it up. It has been a serious body, even from our, from our hostess staff and our community. That there is a need for consistent staff to, to keep us abreast with the present trend of crime and challenges of students. Because we discover that as the, as the trend, as the time advances, the attitude and the behavior and the characters will also change. Like you guys said, that when they are coming back, we will see new behaviors. And we have met at the counseling unit, reported to the division also to the day that these are the things we want to do in the next students are uh, coming back. Uh, so, the issue of rustication, one of the challenges we have also noticed is that whenever students are rusticated and are expelled from the school, what academic affairs does is to send us photocopy. And in that photocopy will indicate that you are expected to submit your student identity card to student affairs. And you have given them original copy. So we have a challenge to keep uh, our data that we have complained that several days. We are the ones collecting the ID card. When they are expected to us, they submit the ID card to us. But a lot of them don't come because they have collected the original. So you only give us what to copy. And we don't have a correct database of students who were expelled or rusticated uh, from the school. Uh, maybe my colleagues will bring up one or two other issues. Uh, sir, uh, on a lighter and on a serious note, you, you are a father and we have seen that in all you are doing. We have learned a lot. Even yesterday, when we were here, you said some things. When we talk, when you talk, we go back and ask ourselves that this wealth of wisdom, uh, where is it coming from? But I know that can only be by the help and by the hand of God. Sir, we have been working several. If you talk of sacrifice, sacrifice, I can stand confidently and authentically to tell you that 
our staff here have been doing that beyond measure. So we have done some work before now, including orientation, accommodation issues, even when we prepare for orientation, we did it and others that we were here till 10 and 11 p.m. at night. Our staff of the hostel, during the strike, some of them were called back to come and attend to some issues starting today, no overtime. I don't know if such things still exist in the university, but we have not received any overtime within or has anybody received. This is my humble solution for now, and others will bring them. Thank you very much, sir. The activities you are carrying out, which we mentioned here, the frustration you are getting, maybe from faculty, I want to request the day. This is what I'm telling other directors that they are directly inside all academic units. That they should not just sit down in the office and want the faculty to respond to them. Try to go and meet all these things. Have schedule with them. Whenever they are having their faculty call, please they give you like 15 to 20 minutes. To speak to them at the front. I've mentioned that to the University of Nigeria. I've mentioned it to the Director of Health. I've mentioned it to the Director of Works. I've mentioned it to the Director of Fiscal Planning. I've mentioned it even to our Director of Environmental Safety. I've mentioned it to MIS High These are units that are serving part of all the activities. But if you want them to you must sensitize them to know what you are doing. Uh, sorry to say, some of us, we, there are many among our staff that are working in the university, but they don't know the university. They are just working in the university, not the university. University is a system where every unit are interrelated. You cannot hold on to your faculty and say, you have no business with whatever is happening in any unit or You are wasting time. They are connected. We are not talking about sports. Sports is connected to every faculty. The student affairs is connected to every faculty. So if you are making any of these issues, you need to synergize. You need to collaborate with those faculty. And for you to do that, you prepare your own activity and meet them, sensitize them. They need why they should cooperate with your units. A kind of social activity. And the thing to be aware of, there is no control of those and director. There is no solution that comes from the control of those and director that I won't pay attention to. And I can tell you that you know how you bring this issue to your meeting that they will, will say no, they are not interested. Even at your meeting, you can bring your schedule, social faculty. I want to meet with, the, with them and their faculty board so so much. Another faculty that I bring it to your meeting and give them, let them see that the schedule. So that when they are preparing their agenda for their board meeting, you should put your whole program there. You speak to them. You plan your lecture between 15 20 minutes. So by the time you do that, first semester, second semester, you are going to solve many problems. So that we, we are going to be working on the same page. I think to address that, that is because uh, it is only the day that will now use that opportunity as a faculty for like some of these things. Some of our, some to say, some of our lecturers have been telling some people that there is no activity in the university that you will be carrying out without being mentored. There are some, most of our young academics today, they are not even mentored before the start. They are not mentored before the start. So they don't feel they can fix lecture at any other time. Some of them will go and pursue any other business elsewhere. 
And when they come, any small openness, even that even require that particular time and reserve for another thing, they want to force them to do that. And it's a system. You have to respect other units that have scheduled activity for those people. So unless you go and meet them and sensitize them, you still face this uh, problem. So I want the day to look for how we can address this. Informational gathering. I want to thank you for what you have been doing. But then let us also use the machinery in place in the university. You people know you are aware of the student integrity club that we have. Those student integrity club can be used. That club can be used in correcting many of these things. Recently, we activate our anti corruption and terrorism unit, which uh, Professor uh, Suraji did in Germany. That can also be utilized. I did mention it to him that I need to prepare the schedule. Let us see his actual plan on how they are going to sensitize that as well. Most of these bad attitudes led to academic activity or to office work. They are part of things that you can use them to correct. So if you have this kind of machinery in place, I'm like, oh, you like them. And they themselves, they don't know some of the areas that they need to alter. They are meeting with most of these things. They can bring out issues that will help them to also be performing well. So, uh, for the sacrifice, well, I want to also commend you for that. Uh, we are all sacrificing. I will continue to sacrifice. And I will tell you, the system will not forget about anybody's sacrifice. The system will not forget about anybody's sacrifice. We, we have a new system in place. DBC is chairing the committee to put the government to pay for us. We are reward. We are not looking for individual. We have a way to even reward youth. And when we start doing that, a lot of things will fall into a proper place. And for what you have mentioned about uh, our time and I'm going to still discuss with the poster to see how operational it acts. And uh, before you know, with all this uh, issue of uh, financial regulation here and there, that the federal government is confusing things, uh, we are finding it difficult to do something extra outside the government. So we are going to sit down to look at some of these things. There, there are certain words I mentioned to Bossa that you should sit down with all the days. So that we want to be specific in the way we are spending our money on activity of this university. We, because we have already generalized things. You see, students in geology, students in geography, they go for excursion, and nobody is making any extra. Are you good? All people that are not students that are in college of medicine, there are a lot of facilities we are maintaining and we are not putting that cost as part of what the students will be paying. Recently we lost almost about uh, seven dead bodies that are supposed to be maintained with some chemicals. But because of the slide, no idea, we do not continue with chemicals. When the, the, the medical and dental council of Nigeria were coming, we are trying to prepare for their visit because of their research education that they want to carry out. That was when they had this one of the several dead bodies were coming back. And we have to go and see how to bury them. So now the university has to now move forward. And you know, everybody is not fit. Not because the boy is already dead. <laughs> so, to get this, and it's, and it is part of the training for, for the medical students. They have to use them, 
are good to get some loaded of something to see those that are alive. So, and uh, it's really unfortunate that we lost those ones. Out of our nine, we lost seven. And we have to now be looking for funds to acquire. So, and nobody is charging to them to pay for all these So, I told us, sit down with everything of our team, specify area of peculiarity. The cost of that peculiarity has to be taken by the students. You cannot just, somebody that is uh, leading sociology, what to pay the same thing as somebody that is uh, leading medicine. And they are not practicing the same thing. So, we can't do that. So, that is what we are doing. And it's affecting a lot of things. Even the issue of welfare of time, we are talking about all the time. We cannot do because we are other activities that we didn't plan for. We are consuming our food. So, and that is why we want to streamline things. That we can take care of uh, all these issues. Thank you for your contribution. The next, uh, see, this is one of the advantages of calling this kind of meeting. Uh, so that issues will be disclosed and then find ways of addressing them. Uh, I just want to seek for clarification from Mr. Femi because he raised an issue concerning copy of the presentation letter issue. So I just want to find out here, yeah, who wants the program to be sent to the division for release to the student or how do you want the education letter to be? Sir, I can look at the kids then, the kids then, I think I have to give them uh, the original, send to the copy to us. Now, when someone can have the original, who is restricted, we will see the original purpose of it is ID card to us. So that's uh, area needs to be. And then if the phrase is still there, that I think that should be submitted to the that the original should be given to us to start the students. What they need to do is to allow to come from the faculty, the various faculty, and say, you have to get that student and get the go and pick it up. That was how it was done for the session. Faculty tell them, go to the and get the data. They come there, we tell them this. And there are some of them who come and collapse. So before we give them some of this data, we take them in for counsel, talk to them, manage the emotional outburst before it happens, then issue them the data. Some of them are happy and get something. What is just going to become, uh, I think it's an area I feel we should have learned some. Okay, I'm sorry, I understand that I should. I am really excited this morning. Uh, the moderator, this afternoon, the moderator is taking me to debrief. But I have to express my joy because this years of work in the university, this is the first opportunity to sit with the vice chancellor and the management team. So seriously, let me say that in case we say things that are upfront, as a father, accept them because we cannot hide our excitement today. So please, sir. On behalf of every other of my colleagues, let me say that so that in case we need this day, please pardon us for it because really we are excited. When I got the news this morning, I was excited. So thank you, sir. I want to uh, thank the management for, I want to talk about security um, in the hostel and then around the vicinity of the school. Yesterday I was here in the morning. Uh, and the issue of security was raised. But I still want to reiterate, sir, please. We really appreciate the effort of the management and the CSO for security apparatus that are already put in place for the safety of both staff and students of this university. But please, sir, I still want to plead with you, if it is possible, that this security should be built up. Um, yesterday, uh, the doctor that spoke talked about the openness, the porosity of the school. The hostel is close to streams. So, usually, we that are there, we see strangers. Strangers from time to time, in the daytime, you see people just moving about, you wonder, you cannot ask the person, what are you doing here? But I would like to really plead with the management. If something can be done, I don't know what really can be done, but if something can be done, more security measures put in place, we we'll really appreciate it, sir. Then the 
would also want to I would also want to say that yes, from time to time I come here on night duties because I do night uh, shifts. I've seen um, from time to time the CSO and others coming around in their rooms to check around. We are really grateful, but we still want to pay sir, that that should be boosted. And then um, the lightings around the hostel, please sir, help us uh, with the lighting uh, around the hostel. The place is normally dark when it is night, very dark. And I also want to ask and then plead that there is a time frame that has been given for um, commercial mobility within the university. Sometimes our students come from the primary side, from other places in the night, and they have to walk from the gates to the host. I see that as a risk because of the policies of the school. Uh, people can be attacked. Within, uh, from the gates down, it's a long uh, walk. If the school can maybe have a shelter within the school, something to maybe late hours before or they can be discharged maybe to 10 p.m. or thereabouts. Then from there at least any student that comes to be able to see where he is coming from by that time of the night. We have had such incidents in the hostel which our dean has graciously discussed about it and seen the way around it. But I want to plead with the management that from the gate, because anything that happens to the students is also our concern because they are the reasons we are here. So we really want to appreciate you, sir, and pray that our request will be granted by you and your management. Thank you, sir. Chairman of the uh, some of the issues are based, we are going to look into them critically. But there are some areas that whatever decision we have taken, uh, you people are the one to also enforce it. So, whatever is the outcome of that uh, meeting, we are going to get a couple of our decisions to you so that we have enforce them. And some of the uh, issues we have raised about the lighting around hostel. Then the men in the night, all this, we have really started uh, talking about them. I uh, even told uh, the director of the city that by the time students also come, we are going to arrange the kind of sensitization of security to them. Some of them will be doing some of this thing ignorant. But by the time you lecture them and you are able to show them picture of any incident, that uh, strong their mind, that uh, so this kind of thing can happen to anybody. Uh, so they will be conscious of some of this. Because sometimes, whatever you are telling some of this, uh, if you didn't show them that kind, that no social person, this is what happened to you, and because of social issues, they will correct themselves if they are, if they are practicing that. So I've already talked to the director of the mental safety to let us know who will be a short person that will come and talk to our students in that aspect. You have to tell the short person, this is the area we want to talk to the students. This is the kind of example we want us to give them so that this can be seen as a practical something that will correct them. So we are going to look at that. Use of ID card. Uh, let me register also what I mentioned yesterday about the color stripes that people will be using. Different states have different uh, color. We uh, want for undergraduate uh, students are different. We want for IDP diploma and students are different. We want for undergraduate students are different. We want for staff is also different. The visitor, when they come, we are going to even decide for which point we they have that on their neck. We say yellow or so. We are going to decide on that. So that people will not be coming to our university anyhow. So, particularly like this morning, I've told uh, 
my personal secretary, I said nobody should enter this office without this. So, and uh, even myself, if I'm coming in the maximum for that, please, uh, in for us, I mentioned that one time to one, one committee that I considered the first, I said, committee on the sanitation. I said, look, if you come to the office and you see paper on the floor, please tell me, I said, this is, please pick that paper. So, if, you, if I say, if you tell me that, then let me see anybody that, uh, that will feel that. And why is it going to happen? Uh, one staff enter the post office. The post office, the next day, he said, I'll have to go to the post office. So, the post office, the other time, he said, This is the evening in the office, you should tell me that. So, I'm telling you, I'm a member of that committee. I'm telling you that you have to do that. So, this is how, this is how we can discipline ourselves. I have to go to the post office. Don't allow any staff. Because I know I'm saying this thing uh, today as well. If you come, if you are coming to the office for any submission, if you don't have this, you want it. So please, and this is how we want this to be enforced. Everybody. By the time we are doing this, people will know that we are organized. Nobody will come into our system anyhow. And uh, some of the points are placed. I have noted them and we are going to give a thank you to them. Uh, thank you very much. Next. Okay. So, yes, uh, yesterday after the Minister of Communication has approved the use of ID card, when I went back to the office, I also gave that instruction to my staff that nobody should come to me with the card where it is called ID card and use the ID. And I want to assure you that I will also discuss that I want to write the circular to the university community based on the approval of the meeting of contribution yesterday. Thank you. Uh, sir, so I would want to repeat what every other person has said concerning this meeting, beginning from the moderator. But as they said, that is how it is. It's the first time we are ever interfacing with management, and it's indeed an exciting moment for us. There are some issues we've had time past uh, which have been classified or treated as sacred or maybe untouchable or untouchable. And I won't bore you with the, what we need in the hostel for the space to resume because of the committee with that. I will go straight to what affects us directly as staff who are working in the hostel. Uh, to have an unmotivated uh, group of staff in the system, I believe is not the best, considering the uh, very vital role we play. Because most of the student population, I don't know if I'm, I'm correct, but we have a lot of students that will be managed in the booster. And that in itself will be a time bomb if not well managed and administered. So uh, the first thing I want to raise. Uh, we've been here since 2015. If I should count by years, that should be seven years in and running. And by the structure of our uh, appointment, we will remain in that hostel. I'm going to stay here for 25 years. I will remain there. I will not move from one uh, uh, place to the other uh, in order to probably uh, get vast experience. We were, we were employed on, under the housekeeping data and it appears there is no other place for this data to operate in the university except the host level. And we have made appeals if it's possible for something to be done about that data so that we don't uh, remain there until retirement. And I will say, Mr. Vice Chancellor, Mr. Chancellor said that there is a very high quality manpower uh, that is locked up in that place. I don't think any other unit has uh, had people move from uh, that unit to the academic uh, side of things like that particular unit. I'm not, I don't have the details, but I know we have quite, and there are so many who are still qualified, some for one reason or the other, and also the denied opportunity. 
to cross over. Uh, that was what we have looked into. Uh, but what I'm trying to get at is if that killer can be taught in such a way that we don't remain there until the time. Because seven years is already becoming very boring. Uh, we are, for me, and most of us as we discussed, we don't have a grip of what the university system is like. And we see a lot of gaps that if we were deployed to those other areas, we would have been able to uh, operate. For instance, in the student affairs itself, we already identified that if there were proper deployments, even within the division, there would have been more effectiveness and more efficiency. So, so that is one of the issues. And then the, these are inherited issues, they're not issues created by this administration, not at the divisional level or at the management level. So the issue of the head of our unit, we um, have the hostel or accommodation unit is usually uh, not headed by the staff of the hostel. It has been like that. We have had about three heads of accommodation and they are sent from the division. And we are growing within the ranks. There should be a point we get to where you, you assume more responsibilities as you grow in what you are doing. So the issue of head of the unit coming from outside the unit uh, should, if it's possible, should also be looked into. The one very critical issue is the issue of health emergencies. Some of our staff, I must say, including myself and others, are part of transport students, sometimes 1 a.m., 3 a.m. to then, especially when the clinic was at the take off site. Um, and then sometimes you get to the clinic, there is no, there are no drugs, and sometimes some manpower issues. Some of our staff have had to take students out at night and get them admitted to the hospitals and sometimes pay the bills. Some of these things have happened. We should, uh, at least, the issue of health emergencies should also be looked into. Sometimes you call the clinic, there's no fault in the ambulance, the driver is not available, or one excuse or the other. But we have always stepped in, but that is not a very good arrangement. If you don't have vehicles at night or there's no fault to move the student, or you don't have money to pay for their bills when you take them out eventually, what will be the outcome? So that's what we need to do. Then the question, uh, you mentioned sir, that was the hostel management committee. For those of us in hostel, we have only heard about the extent of that committee. Uh, sometimes we come around to do a little work in the, in, the, in the hostel, but we feel we are not, uh, not being presented on that committee is not the best. There should be at least one member of staff in the hostel, in the hostel uh, management committee so that it will uh, help effective uh, communication and delivery of service to the hostel. We do not have any functional office in the hostel. That also has to go with the uh, furniture and equipment which we need to work. We, when we come from night duty, we sleep with the students in the hostel. When we come to work, we are with them inside the hostel. I we feel that is not very appropriate. Uh, something, if possible, should be done uh, to get us a befitting office uh, and well equipped with the furniture and the equipment that we need. Record keeping in the hostel is one area we have a lot of challenges. We still manage the hostel manually. There is no system delivered to us for record keeping in the hostel. And year in, year out, the files are tiny. One day, rats may decide to keep them, or one thing or the other may happen and we lose those records. So, that is, these are some of the things that uh, we have to present for the most of them. Thank you, sir. I'm happy with uh, all the issues we have made in the committee, all the issues we are going to look into it. Uh, I think the exercise is also uh, noting some of this. The day is waiting here. Uh, we are going to look at them very well. And we do not have to ask them to do this. Thank you.
and the third territorial support for the support they gave to us in attending the first ever competitive Yuga Games in Lagos. Our staff, sorry, students were very, very excited. Student athletes, I mean, so happy to go to Lagos for the first time. Some of the fears that the students that our students were in were never noticed in the contingent at all. Our students were very well prepared. We wanted that the family, and all that is due to the leadership. The team that went to the left and become a family, and we can see that upon our return, no one else was possible. Uh, the chair took me, my father, and the parents called me to say, the athlete is not there. I said, how did you know? Me? So I sat my daughter said that the parent was told, and I should tell you that she's not there. That's the relationship that was established. I want to thank the professor for providing all the facilities. Even though you have to provide some of the I still have to watch the local marriage. I don't go to the marriage again. Because I'm going somewhere to get it. On behalf of the university. On behalf of the university. So I, I want to thank you. Going forward, sir. Sorry. I want to thank my uh, chairman. In my tradition, you see, when you tap my way and drink it, you don't place it at the foot of the tree. You go elsewhere. But I'll break that tradition until your own hands are taken. I like to thank Mr. Buddha, most proactive chairman. He does positive, but I even begin to think about it. I say, dear, do this, Buddha. So, Buddha, thank you. The Deputy Vice Chancellor has been very, very, very supportive. When he presented you, I think he only became an adult. I saw the I saw the extent of the space. I, I had many positive comments, very, very encouraging comments. So I'd like to thank you for that encouragement and I pray that going forward to we'll do more. Because I know the opportunity, sorry, the greatest reward to do is the opportunity to do more. The vast is already here, give us the opportunity to do more. And let me just say now, we went to Luka like my boss said yesterday, the first and came down, came back with medals. When we won the gold medal in judo, we did not only beat a Nigerian champion, we beat an African champion and became the African champion. <laughs> and the flag of the United States in Africa flew very, very high. In spite of my size, I grew very, very tall. So I want to cover you for that. We have made strides under your watch. We have a student playing for Yobe United in football from this university. We have another player for Nasawa United. If you recall, listen, there's a Tosi or Tobi Amosi who won an Exoban medal. The entire country was celebrating. That's how much we celebrate. And that's my dream. In 2024, when we go to nearby regions, we will celebrate more. And by the way, this zone has considered the hosting right for the zonal regulation to federal university. <laughs> that is going to have a corner on the field of play and outside. Now, going forward, what's the rule now? Just as soon as the sanitation exercise of the uh, area is very bushy. Two days ago, we had to raise money, but no one person now has enough to do anything to hire a long boy to clear the immediate stand in front of our staff and step in. So, we will start or recommend the monthly mobile exercises. We normally conduct that on the first Saturday of the month. And because you are one who lives by example, Maybe listen to humble requests that on the 5th of November, which will be the first Saturday of the month, if you can, sir. If you just come in your touch, you are not going I'm sure over a thousand students have started following you. We don't need to go around. We have a beautiful campus. We don't need to go outside. If you can go, just go. And what you have said, I'm sorry, like you said, the American director is we have programs to educate. Working alone improves the uh, lifestyle of our youth 
and, and everything. There's enough. Just come and walk. If you can walk, play badminton, play volleyball, play um, table tennis. Anything we have, we give all the equipment. We have them. What we need is for staff and students to come, starting from May 5. Now, um, my chairman has always started. Even though you didn't mention it here. In the past, we used to get agitated. How do we stay in the faculty games? Now, even before we ask, it's been shaken. Thank you very much, sir. We had a deputy, by the way, sir, he gave us good decisions. You can change your way of water. Come and look at the one. Because for one week or more, I'm we'll stressing the importance of recreation in stress management. We want to avoid the sudden death. Please come and walk out in the morning. When you close the evening, don't rush over. Come and play. The game facilities are all there. That the management of the owner of the athletes welcomes them. We are hoping that you will find time soon to welcome and receive the Yoga medalist. And you will also give me the opportunity to represent the president of Yoga, Yoga Council, and give you your medal. So, we suggest, whenever it's coming if it's coming at a certain meeting, when many academics, some of whom do not value sport, we would like to do it at, at that time. So that they will not begin to see that. As I have a PhD in philosophy, in physiology, in history, and all that, you can have multiple PhDs in the field of sport. I'm sure, I'm confident to say it, that for every goal that is scored, and again, millions of Nigeria get their blood pressure reduced. That are mostly get but um, improve the health, instead of many Nigerians who for months and weeks and so who were celebrated heads are on. Yes, but nobody remembers to know when they do the preparation for that child to get there. But you are doing that. So we do not want to disappoint you. We want you to help us, like you said, if we have to do Encourage your college professors. Encourage your subordinate uh, academic staff. My registrar, I know, and I can do will uh, encourage those of us in the industry to come up. So together, we can build a healthy workforce as a student population. Now, challenges we have, but they are not too many, and they are not surprising. You are proof in the past that you can have the first will be. Um, the conducive work environment. We are not linked with national media. You gave us a generator. We can power it with water. We used to power it with our personal resources. But all that has been rubbing my spine. Two days ago, in fact, as even this, this morning, we had to climb up the spectacle stand to work for it. But that's where it is heavy. Inside the you know the larger it is. So, power supply will improve uh, our work environment. In the interim, when you have a maybe I know what to uh, I've said this. Uh, our football field is about the only in Lafayette town. Outside the stadium. The stadium is not there. <laughs> even the stadium is not there. All the clubs around here, the security forces, every organization, now comes here. There's pressure and there are security implications. Like you said, I will put our mission to the chairman. I'm going to raise the issue with you. When they write to me, they don't come to me first. They are put and sent to the director of the director. I'm only copied. And some of them are saying to me, by the way, you know the behavior of politicians. Even the PAs are even more powerful than the government. Say, I've seen the register. And I'll go to the PC. I said, please go to the PC. But if uh, if we feel, if we participate in that decision making, you send to us, we give you an idea, we make suggestions. And if they are paying something, maybe they will be a little more humble. Now, that department has no messenger. We have no clean. We clean ourselves. There's a young man who will pay money to clean. So, this is also a stuff. Now, the only reason if you go there, Orange pills, Sasha Water, uh, whatever, and litter all over the place. Because they are not paying, they use my toilet. I have to look for power to 
to get water to clean. They don't do anything. So going forward, when they come with you, they write to you. Let us do well. We will put my chair on. We will design something. Not too big, but so that we can collaborate. And so, to save the life of that field, we will need a second field, especially in the new world. In the build up to the next Luga, in the build up to the next, a second of the very necessary. My as well going to be necessary in the area of sports because yesterday and today we discussed very well. But I just want to share two experiences uh, for the benefit of the system that the Vice Chancellor so much talks about and talks about building. Uh, in 1996, the University of Joss was moving from the takeoff site on Archie to the permanent site. And the permanent site was under construction for a long time. And at a point, the facilities here were choking the road. And the then Vice Chancellor of Sokoko wrote a memo and said, next month, on the 1st of November, faculties of arts and social science will move to the permanent site. And we were already used to, we studied on this campus, we, we started work here, it was more convenient, that was what we knew. You are telling us to go there, it will cost us more money to fuel our cars or transport inconvenience and so on. By the way, the new campus was not furnished. It's a carry the chair you are sitting on to that other place. And some people tried to resist. But by the time a few people carried their tables and went to the new campus, the others who didn't want to go discovered that they had no business being here. Some people were already coming to ask for their offices. So they also followed us and we went to the new campus. And that was how that campus came to stay. New furniture joined us there and we went ahead of it. The point I'm making here is that the Vice Chancellor sees a vision of the university in a way that other people may not see. He's the one wearing the shoe. So when he talks about clearing those illegal structures, I think it's in the interest of the institution for everyone to clear it. The question people should simply ask is, where do we go to? That's all. Not whether or not you should move. This second experience has to do with strike action. We had a grant from Carnegie Corporation, which was uh, the first grant was about 2.5 million US dollars. And when we got it, there was a national strike. And the people who gave us the money didn't factor that when we go on strike and be holding their money. As far as we were concerned, the money should be working whether or not your system is not working. So the Vice Chancellor called the unions and said, look, this money didn't come from here. We cannot shut down the system and go on strike. We will lose this money. And indeed, Amadou Bello University lost that money from Canada. If you know Unijos very well, the current vice chairman of ASU is from Unijos. And it has always been like that. There is always a national visa from Unijos. Unijos is like the second headquarters of ASU. But uh, the unions agreed that when it comes to these very critical matters, we will turn it blind eye. Let the university continue because we'll be shooting ourselves on the foot. There was a student from China who was doing masters in Hausa language and we were going on strike. They had to arrange lectures for him while the the strike was on before because by the end of the strike, the person had finished his master's in Hausa language. You can't explain to the Republic of China that he sent a student to you to study Hausa and he was on strike for all the period. So there were certain decisions that were taken in the interest of the institution. And I think that we should adopt such measures. I'm saying this to say that when a system works, there are exceptions to every rule. And this should not be hidden. This should be in the interest of the institution. I would say that I want to thank you very much for the opportunity to interact with these two uh, directorates that interface with students 
uh, are relevant for the well-being of the students. I hope that as the university grows, more hostels will be built for students' accommodation. The reason is that if you have more students here, in fact, it's more secure. The people in student affairs know that when it comes to asking for student accommodation, that's the time you know that everybody likes student accommodation. Uh, if we have more hostels, it will be useful. And if we can uh, deploy more resources to providing more hostels, it will help us in the sports uh, committee because the more athletes we have here, the easier it is for us to coordinate training and things like that. Thank you very much. Vice Chancellor, I used to refer to you as a student vice chancellor. But today, I'm adding the other terms. You are no longer my student vice chancellor, but my staff vice chancellor. Uh, we had a meeting with you on Monday, and I learned something. And I was planning how to step down that, that le lesson into all my staff. This meeting today, it is me you have helped. Because we are coming out of nine months of eight month strike that we are emotionally and psychologically, psychologically tortured and traumatized. And I was really preparing how I was going to work on my staff, the staff of the university, the staff of the division, how I was going to work on their psychology to really come to terms with the reality that we should play the role of prophet and parent. Fortunately for me, you have allayed me the job. The difficult, difficult, I wouldn't have been able to explain it better than you have done. Or to the point you have come. So thank you very much. Furthermore, my colleagues here made mention of office, functional office in the system. We don't even have office within the system. We have been taking very dangerous risks working within the system. Because as a former chief security officer from a bigger university, I have managed the situation where students went on rampage and in the night and staff in the hostel were mercilessly attacked and penalized. We are cohabiting with students within the hostel. This is my staff office. This is student room. So we are just losing a room out of the student room. As our office will be at the all of all of the hostel. The proposal was I moved students to the hostel. The first thing that moved students into the hostel was four years ago. And the proposal was that we had to have a dedicated office built within the premise. Two, three rooms of this apartment. One for the hostel staff, two for cleaner supporting staff, cleaner electrical and plumbers. Then they don't for security within the booster. So I said it, they need a guy, they need the services of electrical people behind them, we have them behind them. The security will have them within the quarter within the, 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 the booster. That all the, the then management asked me what we need to move to bed into the booster. This was my booster. So sir, I'm requesting they be I reproduce this document so that for your consideration again. Sir, you have done a lot. You are a model. You have learned a lot from you. We, we shouldn't be talking all over, all and all about again what you are doing. You have done a lot. And the student, even as that, 
yesterday. The men knew and they kept on saying they are hundred percent in support of the leaders in stand. They are interacting with their colleagues outside there, and no vice chancellor is giving attention to students the way we do. And I can testify because most of the time, some of the things we do in the hostel, you are the one that draw my attention to me. I want this to be done, I want this to be done, I want this to be done, I'm telling you for that. So, based on NYC requirement, a unit was created in my institution, foreign student desk officer. Please, sir, we want if there is any way the student affairs can be included in the institution process so that. At a point we are going to have a foreign student who should do, you know, uh, take, have a clear understanding of where they are coming from and how we are to come to their aid. I think that is the whole excess of the, uh, the, the, the position of the office being created. See, they are foreign, they are new to the land, we are supposed to take care of them. We are supposed to guide them where to go, where not to go, what to do and what not to do, and to really uh, orient them about the, 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 the culture of our environment. So, I think it's clearly is to the capture of the quarter that they are foreign students, and there should be a way that we, the students that they can have a clear understanding that these are foreign students. I want to reiterate the big staff. My staff in the hostel. What they have mentioned is not up to what they do. The we that work with them, we know the, 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 the risk that they take in managing students in the hostel. And before the management, I want to personally say thank you to And I've been telling you this in the various forums. So that you don't feel you don't appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. A few things. Um, the first thing that I'm very brief. Um, student Affairs is not represented on the, uh, the MIS. During registration, a lot of students have ways of boycotting our office. And so that leaves us with incomplete data for students. And a number of times we have people coming to the division to request for data. We don't have that. So we are requesting, sir that student affairs, we have forms that student normally completes in the division. If there's a way it can be included in the FMIS, but then also allow us control so that we can seek out the information we need, that would be appreciated. And then secondly, in the past, we have, there's usually this meeting in preparation for registration where we have people from academic affairs and everybody involved in student registration. I'm talking about registration because in second semester as a division, we prepare for the new session. So there is usually this stakeholders meeting that used to hold in the past where issues surrounding registrations are discussed. I don't know if that can be resurrected. And then thirdly, the issue of information dissemination. You know, in your talk, you talked about um, security, misbehavior, and all of that. And then also relating to what my colleague, Mr. Femi, said, I particularly like to talk about security and academic affairs. Where there are disciplinary cases, especially the ones that either we can counsel or we can have their records. If, for example, a student has been disciplined and it is not so secretive, you know, there are some security matters that should be kept secret, it would have been good if we have such records so that whatever steps we need to take to um, not resolve I'm looking for the right word to rehabilitate such students, we can take them. And then also we have situations where a student has been moved from either one department or a faculty, and we don't have that information because I don't know how the information flows, but if information dissemination, we can be included in the pipeline so that whatever changes happens to a student from academic affairs, it can also flow to us. Thank you very much, sir. Then with regards to the International Student Text Office, we don't have a presence our international student text officer is not from the Philadelphia quarter. And we know that in the internet days, 
a lot of students may want to browse and uh, before coming into the university. If we can have either her details or the details that referring to that office on the portal, on the Fulafia portal, so that any foreigner who wants to make inquiry about the university can do that.